Hey guys. Hey guys. All right, so we're back for another DIY, and this time it's gonna be a flute table. Mm -hmm. Of course, Sia put me onto that. I didn't know what the heck that was, <laughs> but nonetheless, we are gathering all the product, the supplies right now to make it. And you wanna tell them what we got? All right, baby, what we got? Okay, so we picked up these one inch dowels. Um, they're each uh, six foot long, but we're gonna be cutting them in half for the table. Um, we picked up almost all that was left there. Yeah, I think we were, got 14. We uh, about 14 of them, but we yeah. need how many total? We need 48 of them. Oh, and we need more than that. Yeah. So we need 24. Yeah, we need 24. Mm -hmm. 24. Quick math. <laughs> Quick math. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we got those. We also got these rounds for the table bases. So they are uh, 15 in diameter, mm -hmm. 15 inches, yep. and one inch thick. Um, we got two of these for the top and the bottom. Mm -hmm. And yeah, so we have to go to another Lowe's to pick up more dowels and to get the bigger table base. Hopefully they have the 36 inch one. And, and then what else are we gonna get? Up? We're gonna get paint, mm -hmm. we're gonna get Nails. Nails and Gorilla Glue. Gorilla Glue. Mm -hmm. And we need the do we need the wood for the middle? Two by four. Yeah. We may or may not I still have to continue thinking in my head of what we have in the house to yeah. compensate for that. But if not, we can get something. Okay. Cool. But yeah. Baby, you wanna tell them your tip? Oh. He just showed me some crazy tip. I thought we could just trust the stores. Apparently we cannot. So if some of you guys been doing, um, coming to Lowe's and stuff or Home Depot even, you guys know that some of the measurements are off by maybe maybe a, half, a quarter of an inch or even even less. But nonetheless, with this specific project, you wanna be precise. Um, this base, you need to have it at 15 inches. So in the store, it will say 15, but it may actually be 14 and... Like seven eighths or something. Yes, yeah, seven. Yeah, seven eighths, 14 and seven eighths, which is not gonna do because you have an inch, you have inch rods and you have to make sure it gets all around it. So you will have a gap, a gap spacing if you don't have the exact um, diameter or circumference covered. Nonetheless, get a tape measure in the store, measure each one of them before you put it in your cart to make sure that it's true to what it says. Yes. And that's the tip. And it will go a long way, trust and believe. Measure everything. Everything. Which, I mean, you yeah, don't necessarily have to measure. Yeah, we don't the, need the, the one inch. We're not about to do that. Yeah. But. Yeah, but that's a pro tip, I would say. Super pro tip, because he just showed me they were off and I was like, whoa. And that would have left us with, if we was to get how much we thought we would need for 15, um, 15 inch base, yeah. we would end up with a 0.7. Of worth of space, yeah. Yeah, that, of an inch, yeah. And that would leave out a, one of the dowels, which, yeah, it would just make it look off. Yeah. So, just be mindful of that. Pro tip. <laughs> All right, so onward to go get the rest of the supplies. Yay! Stay tuned. Stay tuned. Company here using the tools. this on your own. Wonderful. Boom. Hey guys. Hey guys. So we had to go to a different nose to get the tabletop, the 36 inch top. It, mm -hmm. it wasn't available in the um, those that we was at recently. So we had to go all around the world to get to get it. Um, but we finally got it. We have everything that we need. So onward to home to start building. Yay, I'm 
I'm so excited for this. Me too. So, uh, the tabletop is going to be 30, uh, 36, a 36 inch round um, pine wood. We're going to modify that to a, in a beautiful way, you'll see. Uh, the base, we're going to be covering it with, well, the flute. Um, in fact, you'll say is going to be using. Um, we're going to use some dowels. These are one inch by six foot dowels that we got from Lowe's. Um, and here we're going to cut them down in inches, in um, 20, 28 inch pieces mm -hmm. to go around the table. So that's going to be the height. Of, well, not necessarily the height of the table. Um, you'll see we have two two circle bases that we're going to use. That's 15 inch in, in um, diameter and also one inch thick. So if you put that together, it will be 30 inches yeah. in total. This is minus the tabletop. Yeah. So yeah, that's how we're gonna make it. And also we're gonna make it blue as well. We're gonna paint it all blue. Mm -hmm. So stay along for the process. Um, like, subscribe. And, and leave your comments below. If you have any questions on the process, again, we are, we're all more than, more than happy to help. So leave, leave a question for us. Yeah. And stay tuned. So we cut all the dowels down to 28 inch piece um, sections. Um, now it's for the next step. We have a two by three. We cut it down to 28 inches as well. The idea is to have this stabilize the, the top and bottom base so we can get the dowels inside to round about round the base um, to fill in the dowels um, in the ends. This is the this is the idea. This is gonna go in the middle of these two 15 inch. Uh, circles. I'm gonna have it like this, and then the dowels is just gonna sit in here, just like that, and it's gonna wrap it around. Okay. So what we're gonna do now is get this to get this screwed into the um, the top and the bottom. Time to get it. All the dowels um, around the well to make the flute like effect mm -hmm. so what we're going to be do, doing is putting um, we're going to be using two and a half inch nails it's 8d I think that's the size and it looks just like this two and a half inch we're going to run them through the tops and the bottoms of the flute so they can stick they can stay on the table. Right. Yeah, stay secured in the table, right? So what I'm gonna also be doing is using five and sixty-fourth of an inch drill bit to pre-make a hole so I don't have to use the hammer and hammer in the arm, um, the nail all the way. It's gonna give me some type of guidance or up. It's gonna make it easier for me to get the nail into the table. So that's why I'm gonna be using that. Um, so yeah, it's gonna be tedious, but yeah, we have so many. But it's part of the process, and Ooh. it's gonna be worth it. It's so worth it. let's get going, man. Just for a tip, um, when you do, <laughs> just a tip is that um, before you start, you can see if your if your spacing is good um, and it's and if it's suitable, 
then when you, you should be able to place at least four rods on each bow. Oh, that sucks. Okay, gotcha. I'm gonna spin back in. Okay, you can put rods on the ends, at least four of them on each corner, and it should be able to stay in. I mean, it should be tight enough to stay in. And if not, if it's too much of a gap, then you know something is off. Maybe your stud in the middle is too is too high and I know longer than the than the dowels, or it might be way too tight. And of course, that would mean that your two x four or whatever you use inside as a spacer is probably too short. So we got three, three in, and they're snug. Uh, the fourth one is here. Let me see if I can. This one is a little bit. I mean, it's it's probably exact. Huh? Yeah. Yeah, it's exact, exact. But if I use another one, it's probably. Well, actually, heck, it's, it's perfect. Four. I'm surprised. <laughs> and this one, there we go. This one have like probably a, a little bit on it more than the others, but it fits enough to stand up. Perfect. So, and this is how we know that it's um the spacer is good, the, the rods are good, and it shouldn't be much of a problem problem to start putting them all in. So, all right. Let's get to the magic. Yeah, <laughs> that's not the word I was gonna use, but the hard work. this dowel in between that gap and it's gonna be just a small just a small space in between the other two dowels um, and of course that this part is gonna be facing the back where no one can necessarily see so it would not be an eyesore um, but nonetheless right now the other challenge is spacing it out evenly and also getting it, getting it to stay standing because this is probably like less than an inch less than one one and sixteenths of an inch um too short you could barely notice it but nonetheless it's not going to stay it's not going to stay tight in here it's, it's going to keep falling so right now i'm just going to find a way to keep it standing while i keep, while i drill the hole through and also drill the um knock the nail in so yeah uh once i figure that out you guys will know Okay guys, so I uh, used paper towel as spaces. I just fold them, I fold two the same, the same way and stuff them in between, in between the dowel. So to get practically the same spacing in between each side. Um, but nonetheless, that was enough for it to hold in place for me to drill the hole and knock the nail through. So now it's done. Well, the base is done. And it's beautiful.
you, I think it will be like just how much for that table. Mm -hmm. I know you guys need a fuel, I know about the gap, but how much mm -hmm. you're selling it for. I mean, uh, and then it's just a, like, you're not selling it. 2000. Uh, <laughs> so, so. <laughs> Take it, let's take it. You gotta come pick it up now. It's gonna be tough to get up the door. Unless I have to screw on the top. That's not what it's popping up, baby. I'll be here, I'll be here. I, do. I just gotta figure out how to do it. But Use a metal blade on a jigsaw. Yeah. It works. Easy. But of course, this works. It's a blade for metal. The hole I'm gonna drill in, in the top arm. Um, is going to be 3 8 wide um, but I know I got uh, tried it on a dummy board and realized that it, the hole will be will still be too small so we got to kind of wiggle the bit in the hole to make it go through um, for for this I'm going to start with a smaller size so when I do the bigger um, the bigger bit the 3 8 is going to be easier to go through um, to go through the wood instead of making a lot of splinters on the way down. Oh, I'm, I've also marked the length of the insert with, I marked it on the, on the drill bit with tape so I don't go too far in. I just measured it and I put a tape over it. So I'm gonna start with this bit and then move on to the 3 8 That's done with. Um, I'm gonna do the same thing on the base of the table. Oh, on the base of the table, actually, there's already a, um, a screw that goes that goes through the center to connect the top, the three by one and a half uh, piece of wood that's inside, and the base, um, the bottom of the the base as well. So I could just take that screw out. I could take the screw out because the screw is just there to make a spacer to put the dowels. So I'm gonna take that out now and I don't actually have to make a smaller hole because there's already a small hole there um, because of the screw that we used. Okay. Now I'm gonna switch over to the bigger bit. I did the same thing, I marked, marked it with tape. Okay, I'm gonna start with the base first, it doesn't really matter. So it kind of does matter. I lied. I should have just start with the base first. I mean, with the tabletop, the bottom of the tabletop first, uh, because I want to drill a hole kind of deeper than um, deeper than the insert, so the so the rest of the um, the rest of the threaded rod could stick through the base of the table, uh, because. I just want to have a little bit of wiggle room on the bottom there and it has more space to play with versus the tabletop which is just one inch. Um, I could drill directly straight through into the um, the hollowness of the um, where the dowels surrounds. So I'm just going to have just a little bit protruding through just for extra support if anything um, or security. Stability. You want to make sure, make sure not to drill straight through the tabletop. That's a no-no. This is done. Here's how it looks. It's inside there, so the shoulder rod. I'll show you guys how it looks. Screw in. Should be able to go right there. So it's going to look just like this. And then I'm just gonna spin it into the ba the base of the table after I put it, after I put in put in the other inserts. Um, 
when you do cut the treaded rod, you will have to clean it. Sometimes it will have a little piece hanging on the side or, you know, around it. So you can just take your pliers and just cut off the, um, cut off the access to make it smooth. And then it should be able to go in. Once it's not inter interfering with the threads, you should be good to go. Take the tape off now because as I said, I don't necessarily need it to be the same, the same depth of the, as the thread. I just need the hole to be tight enough for the thread to be um, to stay in there. Also, you want to make sure that you, the hole is is at least deeper than the thread, the threaded rod that's going to be inside of it. Um, you don't want to you don't want to get to the point where you put the insert in there in there and it's not able to spin all the way down because the wood is still is blocking it from um, screwing further down. So make sure to make at least a deeper hole than the rod that's going to go inside. I believe I have something that's deep, deep enough. I need to drill a little bit deeper. Alright, that's good to go. I got to the stud in the bottom. Oh, hopefully it's still. Make sure to drill your holes straight so you don't have a problem with the, the rod going in sideways and causing to, causing the table the tabletop to look crooked from the side. It's the moment of truth. Take it off and move. Yes. And <laughs> we found it as you we found a problem and we solved it. Hey guys, so we completed the fluted table. Our bay did. He did majority of the work. Oh so we far. did it. We did it. Y'all seen, y'all seen. Team effort. <laughs> um, so this is how it looks. Um, shout out to Lone Fox because we definitely watched his video. His, a good inspiration. Yeah, so we used a lot of his methods, especially for the base. Um, but we did a little bit different for the top, right? I mean, most of it is the same, I would say. The measurements and all, you know, all of that. So thank you, Lord Fox, for that, um, for your tutorial on how to make a fluted table. The difference that we, we made is instead of doing the, instead of gluing the top and the bottom, we we made it where it's detachable. Yeah. So you put a screw in the middle, you can screw it on, screw it off, yep. kind of thing. Yeah, we just want to be able to get this out the door when we decide to move. Indeed. Um, so yeah, um, let us know what you guys think. I actually love the way it looks right now, but we are going to be modifying it. We did get some paint, you might have seen already. We probably mentioned it. Did get some paint, um, so we're going to be painting this, and of course, our specialty, we will be playing with some resin too. So stay tuned for that. You know how much fun that is, and yeah, that'll be part two of this. Yeah. So stay tuned. Yeah. Uh, like, comment, and subscribe. 
if you guys have any questions on the process, feel free to leave it down in the comments and we will get back to you. Yeah, oh, also, this whole area right here that you're looking at is pretty much gonna be like our breakfast nook with this table. It's pretty much gonna be right here, maybe pushed, in, pushed oh, out a little totally bit. We are thinking of making a bench here and we'll probably have like two chairs here. But guys, let us know. Give us some ideas on what kind of bench we should do for this space. And that's gonna be another DIY. Yes, we are building it. So send us some videos, send us some pictures, something. What should we do? What should we do? Yeah, we look forward to your ideas. And heck, if you even wanna know how to make it in a different way, we of course we're gonna put our twist to it. So yes. stay tuned for that. Yeah. See you guys right. in the next one. Bye. Hey guys. What up guys? Okay guys, listen. We are just now leaving Lowe's. Um, unexpectedly, we are selling the fluted table. Yep, so. <laughs> no, go ahead. Tell them what happened there. No, so this randomly, we decided to just see what would happen if we was to throw it up on Facebook Marketplace. Mm -hmm. and Just for shits and giggles. Just for fun. And we threw it up. And within an hour, we got messages. We got a message asking if it's available. Mm -hmm. Fast forward, that turned out to be a scam. Mm -hmm. um, Watch out. Yes, yeah, so be careful if you do decide to do the same thing. Mm -hmm. But now, we, throughout the day, we continue to, getting, um, to get messages, but not much follow-up from some of them. And this morning, minding our own business, not even 24 do, hours later, right? Somebody hit us, another person hit us up, the usual. Hey, is this available? Um, so of course, usual answer, well, yes, it is. It's like, okay, it's a, it's, it's a perfect look. And then they give us a price. It's like, can we do it? Can we do this price? They're asking the right questions, Asking though. if it got stained. Yeah. yeah. If it's sanded on the top. Yeah. I'm like, okay, this is a real person. Is it detachable? All right. And we made it purposely detachable for movement, for transportation. Yep. So that was a brilliant idea in the first place. Shout out to you, babe. I mean, we does this. <laughs> um, so then they, of course, the plan was to, if, and we know so if somebody was to message us, they would lowball us and then we will negotiate from there mm -hmm. which is exactly what happened mm -hmm. we came for we came up to a price that we were definitely comfortable with yep yep and we we're gonna meet them tomorrow to hand it over so <laughs> but the thing is we already we already started yes we already started modifying the top, the top that we to, originally had yes mm -hmm. so it could fit for our Initial little breakfast plan. nook that we're setting up for us personally um so that is why we're at lowe's because we needed to get a new top yep to replace that one but yes. we're gonna use the same base so it don't take us as much time to to get it, it to, over. yeah yeah to sell it so we'll have to make a new base for our yes. own but mm -hmm. that is totally fine we can wait <laughs> You with that. <laughs> yeah, take it, take it, take it. Give me, give me that money. No, okay, stop. no but, yeah. but for real, we did not expect this. We really was just like, I wonder how much this would sell for if we put it up. And yeah, we're making a profit. So mm, we are making a good profit. Yeah. More than more than half. Yes, more than fifty percent profit. Yeah, so. which is amazing. That is so unexpected, but I love it. For real, I love it. So. so that's where we are right now. We about to head home, put um, modify the base. I mean, the bottom of this tabletop so you can get so you could be able to be screwed on, screwed mm -hmm. onto the base, and just wait for tomorrow for the handoff. Yeah. We'll let y'all know how that goes. If y'all want to buy one, let us know. Hit us up. Hit us up. We're in the business for it. <laughs> we got you. All right, y'all. Bye. Hey. So it's the moment of truth. We about to go drop the table for the people who came to pick it up. Mm -hmm. Let's see how that goes. We'll keep you guys updated. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> oh, the bangs. <laughs> okay, so you screwed into the, so, into into the table top. Yeah. So this was made so it can go further in just for stability. Mm -hmm. So when you put it in the... Mm -hmm. Yes, the base of the top. Perfect. And then you just 
Yeah. Cool. Okay. It'll spin for a little bit. Yeah. Okay. But yeah. as you see it going in, it's yeah. just gonna stop flush. Yeah. Okay. Sweet. Awesome. That's a cool idea. Yeah. Yeah, a lot of people like glue it on glue top it on, and we were going to, but like, then we're like, if what we if we want to move, move it around? Yeah. Yeah. This is perfect for especially in my car. <laughs> right. Yeah, it does.